Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good afternoon. Today we will talk about the access control or access specifier used in object oriented programming. At the end of this lecture, students should be able to distinguish between the use of public and private access control. Students should be able to identify valid and invalid statements in main based on the access control information or access specifier information. I'm giving you some brief notes here. When the private access specifier is applied to a class member, the member cannot be accessed by code outside the class, including the main method. For example, in this case, you can see that there are two private members here in line 25 and line 26. Both of the members, that is the field N2, integer N2, and the method demo2, both of them are private members. Next, in line 10, when the public access specifier, yeah, uh, when the public access specifier is applied to a class member, the member can be accessed by code inside the class or outside. For example, in this case, look at line 28 until line 30. The Fill N3 and the method demo tree, both of them are public members. I would like to remind you in line 9, I have mentioned here when the private access specifier is applied to a class member, the member can be accessed only by methods that are members of the same class. So, for this example, you can see that those private members N2 and Demo2 can be accessed inside class sample 3. Okay, so you can see that, for example, in method demo3, okay, it can actually invoke demo1 and demo2. Although both members are not public members, they are private members. I would like to remind you on the notes in line 12, when we omit the use of the access specifier, meaning that we do not apply any access specifier like for the attribute N1 in line 21 and the attribute 22, sorry, the method in line 22, that is the method demo1. Both members N1 and demo1 by default it will be they will be taken as private members the compiler will take these two members as private declaration so you can see that okay uh, the consequence of these declarations okay meaning that we have n1 as private member demo1 as private method n2 is the private member or private attribute demo2 is the private method there are only two members with public access specifier they are the attribute n3 and the method demo3 so Look at the statements in the main program. Line 48 
is an invalid statement because N1 is a private attribute. Line 41, sorry, line 49 is invalid because it is declared as private method. Okay. Line 52 is invalid because N2 is a private attribute. Line 53 is invalid because it is declared as a private method. Line 55 is valid because N3 is declared as a public attribute. Meanwhile, line 56 is valid because it is declared as public method. So, at the end of this lecture, you should be able to differentiate the use of private and public access specifier. Thank you.